Yo, what is good, fellas? Hope you boys are all having a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Fan appreciation is live, and well, it has been one glitchy morning. First things first, these cards are really good, so don't get that twisted. All of the 99s, for the most part, I think are very good cards. That's not what this video is going to be focused on. It's going to be focused on how shitty everything else is. I'm usually a pretty positive person. I think so myself. Well, when I saw this store, I was like, what am I looking at? I'm sure you guys have seen these. If not, well, for 230,000 coins, you have a 3.2% chance of pulling a 99 overall. That is not good. Also, the content within these pack, I don't want it. 191 plus overall elite player. Okay. 195 plus overall regular elite player. Okay. 192 plus crucible and 195 plus overall infinite flux. The only way you're making your coins back on this pack realistically is if you're one of the 3.2% of people that pull a 99. That is awful. Now, there's the opportunity pack. EA love these 50-50 chance to pull an LTD or pull a 95. But it's June, and who is spending $20 on this pack? Do you feel appreciated looking at this? Do you feel appreciated looking at this? I definitely do not. The store is a major disappointment, big letdown with fan appreciation. When I think fan appreciation, I think amazing packs. Like 70,000 coins can get you many, countless 99s overall. In the past, that's how it's been. I've always been a big fan of this promo. I've said in probably 12 videos leading up to the fan appreciation promo, my favorite part about this promo was the packs. Every year, it's always been the packs. They've always been super juiced. You can pay, usually pay like 125,000 coins to 70,000 coins, and you're getting a juiced pack to end off the year. Well, this is just not that. They also have a limit of three on them. Thank God. Nobody should be buying more than four of these packs. I've opened one, and it was not good. I don't have the footage anymore because I deleted it. I was like, this is just stupid. This, these packs are not good. So... The store sucks. Let's talk about the field pass now, where originally I filmed this section and there was no season XP and it was very, very negative. There's season XP, you just have to go look for it. It's not in the field pass, it's within the season seven objectives, but we'll get there when we get there. So in this field pass, looks confusing at first. You guys get to see these tokens here. There's purple tokens and then there's gold tokens. You need the gold tokens to upgrade your players to a 99 overall, and when I say players, I mean your welcome item cards. We'll get to those after we get through the field pass. Very typical field pass though, you guys see your tokens every other level, and in between you have a coin variety pack or, or another variety pack that's B and D. I don't know what's in that. If you guys do know what's in that, let me know down below. Another coin pack over here, going through. Here is your loyalty token at level 9. Don't necessarily think we're going to be able to get that this week, though. Kind of sucks, so you won't be able to max out your Plaxico or Ryan Clark this week. That'll be a week 2 issue. Moving on through the past, some more tokens. I do think there will be another way to use these tokens in part 2. Seems like EA is hyping up part 2 to be a lot better. We don't have any sets right now, but we will have sets for part 2. I, I don't know. It's a super strange way to drop week one of fan appreciation. At the end, though, next week when we get here, you get a free B&D variety legend pack. I'm assuming this will be a free 99 overall. I'll have a video out tomorrow going over which one is the best to pick out of all the 99 overall champions. And like I said at the beginning of this video, the 99 overall champions are not the issue I have with this promo. It's everything else that has to do with this promo. The cards and the players that are really... The only thing that should matter are amazing, but hey, I like to rant, I like to bitch, and uh, hey, perfect day to do it, right? Let's go check out the welcome item. I opened the pack and I uh, just did not record it, so that one's on me, but the welcome items are kind of confusing, so we'll talk about it. I also have to move myself because I have to read the description, so get used to me on the left for a second. You guys see here, you could upgrade two of the three loyalty players. They're calling the welcome item cards loyalty players. Do I know why? No. Do I think it's stupid? Yeah. Basically, that means in part two, we're getting one more welcome item player, and you get to only upgrade two of the three. Okay. Now, to upgrade them, you need to use three purple tokens, which you can get this week, but then you need to use one of the gold tokens, which is the loyalty token, to max them out to a 99 overall. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do that this week. But when you do max him fully out, he gets five different 32 team chemistries 
absolutely juiced. He also gets insane abilities. The catalog is still super glitched, so I don't know if we're going to be able to look at those abilities before I get this video up, because I want to get this video up for you fellas, but we'll see. Plaxico looks really good. Ryan Clark looks really good. I'm sure the other card we're going to get next week is going to be really good. They're making part two. They're hyping up part two to be the greatest thing of all time, but we got to wait a week, so we got to deal with part one first. Let's go check out the solo challenges now. Now this morning, EA was talking about the Dree Archer we're getting with part two from solo challenges. I just think it's so like strange that they're promoting a card that we're getting next week with this week's drop. I feel like this week was like they had to give us something. It wasn't ready. This is like a rushed product and clearly it's rushed because nothing is loading in like it should. It's 258 and I haven't been able to finalize this video because nothing is coming out on time. Everything's super glitched. I think they rushed through this. I think part two of fan appreciation is going to be a banger, but we got to get through part one and they know that. And so they're trying to make up for it. But do you feel appreciated? I do not. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there's actually season XP and there is, you got to go to your season seven pass and then scroll all the way to the right where it's program objectives. You got to toss in two FAP players and score 60 touchdowns. Very easy. And I believe you get 72,000 XP. Yeah, that's actually a decent amount. We'll definitely help grinding out your field pass. Oh, thank you EA for finally loading in your cards. We can now talk about every single player that is live today. This is the best part of the video, so we're saving it for last. First up, Deshaun Jackson. Probably my pick if we do get a free win out of that last tier in the field pass. This is who I'm picking. Well, again, I'm going to be ranking all of these guys tomorrow, so I'll have a more in depth like about each one of these later. But just right now, quick little overview. Playmaker, evasive, route tech, and return man with deep elite all for free. How many slots do they get? They get four discounted slots. Well, no, they do not. So they get three discounted slots with like unique abilities. And then in the fourth slot, they get everything. Five, six, seven. So these guys can get seven discounted abilities and they get charged up X factors. These cards are electric. This is what fan appreciation is about. Screw shitty pack odds. Don't buy packs. You get seven free abilities, charged up X factors, and wait. I thought they got all 32 team chems. I would have been super excited. I also knew they didn't, but uh, commanders, commanders legend, Deshaun Jackson. Next up, we got Arian Foster, who's going for half the price of Deshaun Jackson. So if I was guessing, DJ's probably the best. He's 98 speed, 61227, discounted buckets on Arian Foster, Energizer, Evasive, Human Joystick, Running Back Apprentice, Route Tech, nothing too crazy. And then here, Evasive, Bruiser, Tank, Backfield Master, Slotomatic, Route Tech, Short In Elite, Short Out Elite, Acrobat, Acrobat, okay. Backyard Halfback, Human Joystick, Wide Receiver, Apprentice, he gets three slots. No, he does not. Every single slot on these cards is different. Oh my god. Gosh, yeah, fellas, tomorrow's video is going to be a good one. These guys all get charged up X Factors. Today, we're going to do a quick breathe through them all. Tomorrow, we're going to lock in, talk about each of these cards in depth, ranking them one through eight. But Arian Foster looks like a stud. Clay Matthews, right off rip, is probably going to be my least favorite. Just telling you guys that right now. 98 speed, 6'3", 255. I just don't like pass rushing outside linebackers. So... Hopefully he can prove me wrong. Unfakeable, edge threat elite, double or nothing, tip drill, and tackle supreme. Gets two buckets, three buckets, three buckets with all of those. Now in the fourth slot, inside stuff, tackle supreme, under pressure, deep in zone KO, edge threat elite. Speedster, medium route KO, inside shade, outside shade, film study, bench press, one step ahead, deep out zone KO, acrobat. This makes sense. Lurker, deep route KO, short route KO, pick artist, double or nothing, no outsiders, I have not seen a Lurk Artist yet, okay. Deflator, Enforcer, Demoralizer, Lurker, No Outsiders, Crusher, Tip Drill, Flat Zone KO, Mid Zone KO, Edge Threat Elite, El Toro, Mr. Big Stop. Has anybody ever used this ability? Instant Rebate, Unpredictable, Double or Nothing, Pick Artist, Speedster, Defensive Rally, Medium Route KO. Am I missing a Lurk Artist? Does he just not get Lurk Artist? He gets Lurker, but you need Lurk Artist for linebackers. Okay, there's Lurker, not Lurk Artist. Hopefully I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. Does he not get Lurk Artist? Yeah, so he's the worst. 
That's crazy. Discounted, uh, not discounted, charged up though. He gets everything that a typical rushing linebacker would get. No lurk artist is super weird though for a linebacker. All right, I will probably not be reading every single ability again. That just took the life out of me, but Warren Sapp looks good. 6 2, 3 0, 3. Let's talk about the big ones that he does get inside stuff for free, secure tackle, interior threat under pressure, and goal line stuff. It looks like the last three discounted buckets are probably like the best abilities. Uh, yeah, let's go check out the rest though right now. In the fourth slot, Warren Sapp gets tackle supreme film study, edge threat elite. You probably won't use that. Yeah. So he looks good, and uh, I like a bow going here, I guess. No outsiders is good. Tip drill for whatever reason, strip specialist. Definitely a very solid option. Will he be as good as his Super Bowl card? Only time will tell. Alshon Jeffrey, in this he's the LTD, by the way. In this morning, I said he was 6'5", he's 6'3", I don't know ball. 98 speed, Alshon Jeffrey, limited time. Let's see what you're rocking with. Matchup Nightmare, mid-out elite, mid-in elite, ac acrobat. Yeah, acrobat. Okay, just, uh, don't, but this doesn't make sense. Why does, why? Why? Okay, keep going. Red zone threat, same thing for those three slots. And then here, route tech, all the apprentices, all the deep in slash short out. You guys know, all the elites. And then there are apprentices. And then there's the slot omatic, shocker, tank, bruiser, playmaker, evasive acrobat alshon jeffrey looks like he is very mid and then obviously gets angry runs and he yak him up so solid little receiver option there but definitely not top tier whatsoever now night train lane who only has one picture in the ea database i swear they use the same picture for every single card looks really good just based off the stats i don't know his abilities but we can check those out right now discounted wise gets all the typical charged up you would expect for a charged up card Pick Artist, Flat Zone, Deep Route, Medium Route KO, and Acrobat are his zero AP abilities for the last three slots. And then in the fourth, Short Route KO, Flat Zone KO, Bench Press, Deep Out Zone KO, Deep Route KO, Acrobat, Film Study, Inside Shade, Outside Shade, Medium Route KO, Mid Zone KO, One Step Ahead, Tackle Supreme, and then Deep In Zone KO. And then over here, Secure Tackler is one that I love to see. I get a Pick Artist, but I'm assuming he gets it somewhere else. I love to see an Enforcer at the top. Hey, he looks pretty good, to be honest. And then in the last slot here on the ball, I've never seen that ability before. Chuck out. All right. Definitely some good tier two and tier one abilities. Tier one is so typical, but tier three, I mean, looks solid too with the secure tackler in there. Yeah, Night Train Lane actually looks pretty solid. Halfway there, fellas. Warren Moon. I don't think he's going to be that good. Is that a crazy take right there? Charged up. Angry Runs is cool to see. Omaha, he all... Oh, Damn it, it gets Omaha, but they did put an AP cost on it. I don't know, I hate that. I think that's the dumbest ability of all time. All right, on Warren Moon, Slinger for free, Hot Route Master, and Set Feet Lead. So he gets all three of these for free, I'm assuming. So he gets the big three for free, but is there a Master Attack in here? He gets a Master Attack for one. I think Master Attack is necessity. You need Master Attack. So you're probably running Slinger... Master attack, set feet lead, a gift wrap, all for free. Not all for free, for one AP. And then everything else down here is like kind of like, you don't need it. Does he have, he has slinger on here. So yeah, it's slinger, master attack, that'll cost you one, set feet lead, and then gift wrap. Got a decent little stack on Warren Moon. You can also run Omaha on him and be that guy. So I guess he looks solid. Now Julius Thomas tight end, six foot five, 256. I'm very curious to see what Julius Thomas is actually selling for. 1.2, 1.02 mil, not the worst. Stat-wise, on Julius, we saw abilities on Julius Thomas. You guys can see everything there. All right, typical offensive charged up. Now discounted. Zero AP mid-out elite, short end elite, deep elite tank, and tight end apprentice. And over here, he gets route tech. Looks like a typical tight end. Gets post up if you really want to be that guy. Edge edge protector. That's actually kind of unique. I actually like that, actually. And then in the other slot, anything that's kind of speaking to me? Yeah, no. Anything here that speaks to you guys? If you want to run a jukebox on him, you can. Screen protector, polar elite, honorary. I like, okay, honorary lineman. It's actually probably the best thing I've seen so far in those ending of the last tier of abilities. Julius Thomas looks solid. He's 6'5", but has shitty run block. On to Ed Tutal Jones now, where you have 93 speed and are 69. 6'9", sorry. Uh, yeah, jeez, I am so mature. Is this new? 
Split on field blockers have their resistance bars wa wa wiped. Is that new? I don't know. I haven't seen that before. I feel like that's got to be like I don't actually know. Is this a new uh, X Factor? Let me know down below. All right. So abilities on Ed Two Tall Jones: Inside Stuff, Double or Nothing, Speedster, No Outsiders, Edge Threat Elite. You get three of those, and then you get to pick here from Tackle Supreme, Film Study, Double or Nothing, Defense or Rally, Edge Threat, Under Pressure, Inside Stuff, Pick Artist, Flat Zone KO. Can we stop doing this, EA? Stop giving pure edge rushers flat zone KO. Please and thank you. Signed, Moshi. All right, BOGO, edge threat. Why would you run edge threat when you get edge threat elite? But okay. Enforcer, I actually like that. Does he have a secure tackle or anywhere as you speak? There it is. Anything else in here that speaks out to me? No. All right, Ed Tutal Jones for being six foot nine. Definitely like the card. If it looks like I'm speed running these cards, it's because I'm speed running these cards. Ty Law. This card kind of looks like shit, but let's go check out his abilities. Gets all the typical charged up. Say that every time we click on a new card, but Ty Law gets deep zone KO, mid zone KO, flat zone KO, bench press, and lurk artist. So he gets every single KO you could want. And then you get to mess around and pick a few other ones here. Tackle Supreme, good. Secure Tackler, good. Ty Law is actually not as dog shit as I thought he was going to be. And he's going for 1.75 mil. Makes sense. It's the final countdown, fellas. Will Shields. 99 strength six foot three 315 pounds do we really have to go through the offense alignment abilities you know what he's gonna get you know what you want to put on him a secure protector a linchpin a post up you're good will shields definitely looks solid i'm actually curious to see what he is selling for i know djax going for like 800,000 coins arian foster i think is the cheapest going for about 400k and will shields sitting around 600,000 coins not too shabby I expect all these cards to tank in price as the week goes on. The last LTD we got, Junior Seau, please be under a million coins. 1.5, so maybe he's more, he's better than I thought he was going to be. 6'3", 255, that makes sense. He's on the bigger side of linebackers. Ability-wise, Lurk Artist, Avalanche, Secure Tackler, Inside Stuff, Mid Zone KO. Oh my god, this guy's actually got a god stack. If I'm picking up Junior Seau, which I'm not, I'm rocking a Lurk Artist, an Avalanche, and a Secure Tackler. What's he get over here? Inside stuff. I'd probably run an inside stuff for fun on him. I just feel like it'd be such a geek play right there. He he. It looks like he gets just everything you could possibly want. Uh, yeah. This guy looks really good, actually. Yeah. Well, that fellas, let me know down below right now. Do you want me to include the LTDs in my rankings, like one through I think. 11 then 1 through 12 let me know down below that's everything i got be on the lookout tonight for ranking every single season 7 champion we got to the brand new 98s that you could upgrade through 99s that'll be live in about a few hours and that's everything though i'll catch you boys tomorrow slash later today peace